Welcome back. So now let me test PayPal's button. And I have added already something to cart and I, I made an order. Therefore, I will be able to see the uh, button. So you need to do this in order to see the button. Now, let me test PayPal's button. So I'm going to click on PayPal's button. And here, as you can see, it's going to ask me to log in. So in order to log in, you need to use the personal email, the, the, the sandbox personal email in order to, to test. And I have already shown you how to get the email. However, I'm going to show you again how to get that email because you should use the personal sandbox email, not the business, because the personal will pay to the business. So let me head on over back to my PayPal's account and show you how you can get that email from. And in your account, you should find, you should look for the, the uh, buyer email. So this is the business email. The business, of course, the business is not going to pay to themselves. The buyer should pay to the business. So let me go back to the to my account to my apps and go to the uh, to the email so you need to head on over to your uh, account and then click on accounts under sandbox click on accounts and here you'll find your all all of your business and personal accounts so we need to use the personal account I'm gonna copy the email you need to copy the email this email you need to copy it you need to copy this email let me click here on uh, view uh, edit account and as you can see this is the the total this is the the complete email ID you need to copy this ID you need to copy this ID and you need to know the the password because I'm gonna be using these in order to log in and test so I'm gonna copy this so I'm going to paste the email here, I'm going to paste here the email, and uh, then I'm going to click on next, and then here it's going to ask me for the password. So let me head, head on over back to my account and get the password, and here we have the password. Let me copy the password, which is this password. So let me paste the password, I'm going to paste here the password, and let me here click on login. And uh, here, as you can see, I logged in. And as you can see here, we have the, the amount here is 24.99. And in my website, the amount that they should pay here behind this, behind this, the amount is the amount is 24.99. So the amount is here to, in my website is 24.99. And in PayPal, uh, the amount is 24.99, which means that now PayPal knows the amount that they should pay, the amount that the user should pay, pay in order to get their meals. Uh, now let me test. And uh, by the way, here PayPal has many, so many options. So you don't have to worry about the method that the user is gonna uh, is gonna use. So the user could use the PayPal uh, balance. The user could use Visa card. It doesn't matter because PayPal is gonna take care of this. What matters is that you will be able to use PayPal. Now let me click on pay now and test. So I'm going to click on pay now. And as you can see here, it says transaction completed successfully here. Transaction completed and it returned the transaction ID, which is, which is the transaction ID that has been returned by and generated by PayPal, which means that payment has been processed successfully and money should have uh, should be now in my account so this is how we can incorporate uh, PayPal and uh, now uh, this transaction ID means that the, pro the, the, the payment process was successful mm -hmm.